So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about color. Oh, poor Rhea. She's a little dark. Only if she was as light as her brother. Those are the words my relatives said to my mother when I was born. I've become accustomed to comments and critiques like these my entire life. Whether they've been directed at me or others, <clears throat> I've heard it time and time again from people who look just like me. I've heard sayings like, Saf rang ho na which means the skin should be a clean color, or Piari hai, lekin kali hai, which means she's pretty despite being so dark. But shockingly enough, comments like these are not uncommon in countries with people of color, especially in South Asia, where I'm from. This systemic issue known as colorism has been plaguing South Asian society before colonialism and still is. The desire of looking white and fair is so heavily ingrained into our society that one of the first things parents or grandparents hope their child has is light skin because it can make all the difference in a society where it can even impact someone's economic upward mobility. For example, in South Asia, arranged marriages are still prevalent in the lower and middle socioeconomic classes. For women, the number one factor in determining a proposal from a wealthier man is dependent on her shade of brown. Her shade of brown can determine social security for the rest of her life or poverty. Now, the prejudice dark-skinned people face, and more commonly women, has led to an enormous skin widening and bleaching product industry. The size of the industry takes up almost 50% of the skincare market in South Asia. Companies like L'Oreal, Unilever, and Garnier are marketing their products, capitalizing off colorism. The beauty commercials I would watch on TV in Pakistan would somehow always incorporate someone becoming lighter after using the product. Whether, whether the product was soap, body lotion, or face wash, colorism is everywhere. The biggest stars in the Bollywood industry have also endorsed and starred in ads of the products, popularizing them even further. Bollywood's association with products like these perpetuate discriminatory social norms throughout South Asia. The Bollywood industry is also known to only cast extremely fair people in their films and do not regularly highlight darker skinned people. However, Bollywood is not the only industry known for underrepresenting dark skinned people. Colorism extends way beyond Asia and into Hollywood as well. The majority of the black and brown actors we've seen on screen, especially the women, are light skinned with Eurocentric features. So I challenged myself and tried to come up with five light skinned actresses off the top of my head and easily, easily managed to do so. Zendaya, Halle Berry, Zoe Kravitz, Jada Smith, and Amanda Sandberg. Then I tried to come up with five dark skinned actresses and could only think of two, Whoopi Goldberg and Lupita Nyong'o, and I'm not surprised by it. Media plays a crucial role in perpetuating colorism all over the world. Having stronger representation of dark skinned people in the media could make the, all the difference. For example, I was watching a Netflix TV show called Bridgerton, which many of you may have heard of. The second season casted two Indian female ladies, both of which had darker skin. I was proud to see these two dark skinned women in the spotlight on a big TV show like Bridgerton. It was not only the choice of casting these two women, but they made sure to represent Indian and South culture as well. There were scenes where the main character made her tea with her own Indian spices. And I could relate to that because I make my tea the same way with the same spices. There was another scene where the main character was getting married and had um, a marital ritual with turmeric. It reminded me of the weddings I would enjoy going to when I was younger. The show ultimately reminded me of my own culture. But seeing people who look like me in mainstream media gives me hope that people, especially where I'm from, will see that having darker skin is not ugly, dirty, or something to be fixed, but rather beautiful. Thank you.